वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग बी ई ई द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज ई सी ई वन जीरो वन द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर इज स्टेप अप एंड स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर द ट्रांसफॉर्मर्स आर डिजाइंड फॉर आइदर सिंगल फेज सप्लाई और थ्री फेज सप्लाई it may be either step up or step down transformer however the working principle of step up or step down transformers are the same and that is electromagnetic induction the basic working principle of all the transformers whether that is step up transformer or step down transformer the uh, basic principle is electromagnetic induction this figure shows the basic diagram of the uh, transformer in this we are having this is the primary winding this is called primary side and the right side of this diagram is called the secondary side here we are having the secondary windings which are denoted by n2 and the primary windings which are denoted by n1 and this is called the core and the flux is flowing in this this is the ac supply given on the primary side a transformer consists of two highly inductive coils which are known as windings wound on a steel or iron core this is called the steel or iron core on which the primary and secondary wires are wound then the winding connecting to the ac supply is known as primary winding whereas the winding connecting to the load is known as secondary winding here we are connecting the load and this is called as secondary winding the winding which is connecting to the supply is known as primary winding the primary and secondary windings are isolated from each other as well as from the iron core electrically the electrical power is transferred from primary circuit to secondary circuit by magnetic flux the symbolic representation of the transformer is shown in figure this flux is due to the ac supply because of this ac supply the emf is induced in on the primary side and because of this emf the flux is produced and because of this the e2 is produced and all the process is due to the electromagnetic induction now we are discussing the detailed working principle when the primary winding is connecting to the ac supply an ac current starts flowing through it here we are shown as shown in this figure we are having the primary uh, side and this is connecting to the ac supply so ac current starts flowing on the primary side the ac current of the primary winding produces an alternating flux phi in the core because of this primary current the flux phi is produced in the core most of this alternating flux links with the secondary winding through the core because of this core this flux is linked with the secondary winding this alternating flux induces a voltage into the secondary winding according to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction the emf is induced in the secondary winding is due to the mutual inductance hence it is known as mutually induced emf the emf induced in this is known as mutually induced emf and it is denoted by e2 the induced emf in the secondary and the primary depends upon the rate of change of flux linkage that is n d phi upon dt means uh, the induced emf e1 and e2 on the primary as well as on the secondary side depends upon the rate of change of flux in this side so this shows the working principle on this we are having the ac supply 
and uh, because of this ac supply the current electromagnetic current is flowing and because of this the magnetic flux is produced and here we are connecting a load because of this uh, the, uh, the bulb starts glowing so this shows the working of a transformer then the rate of change of flux in the secondary and primary circuit is the same therefore induced emf in secondary is proportional to the number of turns of the secondary winding means e2 is proportional to n2 means the induced emf produced in the secondary winding is directly proportional to the number of windings and primary is proportional to the number of turns of the primary means e1 is directly proportional to n1 means the number of windings is directly proportional to the emf induced on the primary side or on the secondary side if the secondary turns n2 are less than primary turns n1 the secondary induced emf will be less than primary and the transformer is called step down transformer how we come to know that whether the transformer is step up or step down from the number of turns of the primary and the secondary windings we come to know that the transformer is step up or step down so the condition is if n2 is less than n1 then it is the secondary it is the step down transformer whereas if n2 means the number of secondary windings are greater than the number of primary windings means n2 greater than n1 the secondary induced emf will be more than the primary and the transformer is called step up transformer so the transformer changes only current and voltage levels of the ac supply it does not have any effect on the frequency of ac supply means whatever the supply we are giving at the input side the uh, frequency of that supply will remain the same on the output side means if we are giving the 50 hertz on the input side on the primary side of the transformer we will get the 50 hertz on the secondary side the transformer changes only the level of current or voltage according to the type of the transformer whether it is step up or step down it increases or decreases the level of current and voltage if a transformer is connecting to a dc supply a large amount of current will flow through the primary winding and it can damage the transformer winding this is a very important point to keep in mind that the transformer is a ac device we never operate the transformer on dc supply if we are giving the dc supply to the transformer its winding primary windings get damaged and it will burn the transformer so next we are discussing the transformer parts and construction the three main parts of a transformer are primary winding of the transformer magnetic core of the transformer then the secondary winding of the transformer primary winding of a transformer which produces magnetic flux when it is connecting to the electrical source magnetic core of a transformer the magnetic flux produced by the primary winding that will pass through the low reluctance path linked with secondary winding and create a closed magnetic circuit because of this magnetic core the emf is induced in the secondary winding the secondary winding of a transformer the flux produced by the primary winding passes through the core will link with the secondary winding this winding also winds on the same core and gives the desired output of the transformer so these are the three main parts of the transformer primary winding magnetic core 
and the secondary winding. This slide shows the transformer losses. We are mainly having the two type of losses, core losses and copper losses. The core losses are further adequate losses and hysteresis losses. Adequate losses, these are fixed, always present and related to the transformer construction. Adequate losses are reduced by lamination they produces more heat. On the other hand, hysteresis losses reduced by using special steel in lamination. When we are using the steel laminations, it increases the cost of the transformer. This diagram shows the step down transformer. As shown in this figure, on the primary side we are having N1 is greater large number of N1 as compared to the number of windings N2 on the secondary side means that N1 is greater than N2 or we can say N2 is less than N1. The EMF induced in the secondary is slow as compared to this. So it reduces the um, voltage. So that is why it is called step down transformer. This shows the uh, practical or the commercial figure of the step down transformer. Then we are having the step up transformer. It is opposite to the step down transformer. On the primary side we are having the less number of windings as compared to the secondary winding space. N2 is greater than N1. So more voltage is produced on the secondary side. So that is why it is called the step up transformer. This is the uh, commercial figure of the step up transformer. Then key difference between step up transformer and step down transformer. When the output voltage is greater then its input voltage it is called step up transformer whereas in step down transformer output voltage is less in a step up transformer the low voltage winding is the primary winding and high voltage winding is secondary winding whereas in step down transformer low voltage winding is secondary winding in a step up transformer the current and magnetic field is less developed in the secondary winding and it is highly developed in the primary winding. Whereas in the step down transformer voltage is low on the secondary and thus the current and magnetic field is high. Then in a step up transformer the primary winding is made up of thick insulated copper wire and the secondary is made up of thin insulated copper wire whereas in the step down transformer the output current is high so the thick insulated copper wire is used for making secondary wire step up transformer extends the voltage from 220 volt to 11 kV or above means uh, this is the higher range of step up transformer whereas step down transformer reduces the voltage from 440 to 220 or 220 to 110 volt or 110 volt to 24 so these are the different ranges of the step down transformer so this is the tabular differences between the step up and step down transformer. By definition step up transformer increases the output voltage but step down transformer reduces the output voltage. On the basis of voltage input voltage is low while the output voltage is high. On the other hand step down transformer input voltage is high while the output voltage is low. Windings high voltage winding is the secondary winding on the other hand in the step down transformer high voltage winding is primary winding current 
in the step up transformer current is low on the secondary winding but in the step down transformer the current is high on the secondary winding rating of output voltage it is 11000 volts and above but in the step down transformer it is 110 volt 24 volt 20 volt 10 volt etc sizes of the conductor primary winding is made up of thick insulated copper wire on the other hand in step down transformer secondary winding is made up of thick insulated copper wire applications where the step up transformer is used power plant x-rays x-ray machines microwaves in the step down transformer applications are doorbell voltage converters etc then one thing which we keep in mind that a same transformer can be used as step up or step down transformer it depends upon the way in which it is connecting in the circuit if input supply is given on the low voltage winding then it becomes step up transformer alternatively if the input supply is provided on the high voltage winding then the transformer becomes step down transformer so the single transformer can be used as step up or step down but it depends upon where we are giving the applied voltage this diagram shows the high voltage transmission line this is the power plant and from it produces the 12 kV and then we are having the step down transformer which reduces this 12 kV into the 400 kV and this is the transmission lines these uh, uh, towers are the transmission lines then again we are having the next step down transformer this called substation here the uh, this is again further reduced to 13 kV and uh, further it is again reduced to 220 uh, 240 volt which is sent to the for domestic purposes so we are having the uh, on from the power plant to the home we are having the three step downs first step down between the 11 uh, 12 kV to 400 kV then next step down from 400 uh, between 400 to 13 kV and then the next one is between 13 kV to 4 to 40 kV volt so this is how the we get the power from power plant to our homes so this is all about your uh, this lecture